clothing has always been an essential part of human life. Researchers discovered data that led them to believe Homo sapiens were the first humans to wear clothing around 100,000 years ago. They mainly created clothes out of plants and animal skin in order to keep warm while migrating into colder climates. Fast forward a few hundred centuries and modern humans are still using clothes to keep warm. However, the reasons why people are wearing clothes has drastically changed. Nowadays, people wear clothes and style their hair as a way to express themselves. Over the years, some questionable fashion trends have emerged. What may have been cool and trendy back then is outright embarrassing now. I'm Mike with List25, and despite how horrible most of these fashion trends are, they will forever go down in history. Twenty-five Overalls Overalls, a one-piece jean garment, were created by Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis to be worn as a protective work uniform in the 1890s. Throughout the years, they were commonly worn by farmers in the southern U.S. Then, in the 1960s, they became a rising fashion trend among American youth. Actor Will Smith changed up the overall fashion trend by wearing one of the overall straps behind his back. 24. Parachute Pants Breakdancing was a cultural phenomenon during the 1980s. This new style of dancing originated in New York City. The clothing company Bugle Boy jumped in on the fad and manufactured a pair of pants that allowed breakdancers more movement and flexibility. By the mid-1980s, non-dancers and dancers alike were wearing these trendy loose pants. Rapper MC Hammer is credited for their rise in popularity. 23. Frosted Tips Historians believe that people started dyeing their hair back in the 1860s. Synthetic hair dye is used to cover gray hairs or as a way to simply change up a person's appearance. At some point in the mid-1990s, men started bleaching the tips of their hair. This new fashion trend was known as Frosted Tips, or Guy Lights. Luckily, the highlighting fad began to die out around the early 2000s. 22. Backward Baseball Cap The modern baseball cap with the long peak was first worn by the Brooklyn Excelsiors in 1860. It took almost 40 years for the hat to become a popular trend for everyday people. Over the years, both men and women have worn baseball caps to protect themselves from harmful ultraviolet rays. However, that purpose becomes defeated if a person wears their baseball cap backwards. The 1995 film Clueless has been credited for the backward hat-wearing trend, and uh, wearing it sideways is even worse. Ugh. That's better. I do backwards sometimes, especially with glasses. 21. Skater Boy Hair Teenage girls across the U.S. were in awe of Ryan Sheckler's 1990s hairstyle. The professional skater grew his hair to chin length and swooped it to the side. Since then, a large number of teenage boys have been seen wearing their hair like that. Even grown men have rocked this adolescent hairdo. Famous celebrities like Justin Bieber, Zac Efron, and Harry Styles have all had the infamous skater boy hair. 20. Puka Shell Necklace Around the 1960s, Native Hawaiians started creating jewelry out of inexpensive puka shells. By the mid-1970s, these shells necklaces were a hot commodity. They were so popular that their price skyrocketed. Everyone wanted to have a set of puka shells to wear. Thankfully, the peak of the puka shell craze ended sometime in the late 90s. However, there will always be photographs that haunt the people who were captured wearing such contraptions. I loved my puka shell necklace. I kind of miss it. Actually, one time it was ripped off in a pool, and I dove down and picked up every last one and put it back together. I miss it. I didn't think they were that terrible. It was just a white necklace. I'm going to bring them back. Hashtag bring back puka shells. Tristan, put that on screen. We're going to do it. We're, we're bringing it back. 
19. Track suits. Velour is a plush knitted fabric that resembles velvet. It's created out of cotton and other synthetic materials like polyester. During the late 1970s, track suits made out of this material started to emerge. The comfort of the soft texture quickly made the athletic suit a popular fashion trend. People began wearing the outfit even when they weren't working out. Unfortunately, modern versions of the velvety tracksuit are still on the market. 18. Round Sunglasses It seems that everything centered on rock and roll during the 60s. Round and oval-shaped glasses became a popular trend, perhaps primarily because John Lennon, a member of the Beatles, was seen wearing his round glasses in 1966. Since then, those quirky round glasses became a trademark not only of his public image, but a symbol of the decade. Fast forward 60 years and people are still rocking those shades. As odd as they may look, the fashion trend has survived the test of time. 17. Large Belt Buckle The majority of us have seen those chunky belts that display either a person's name or a logo. The belts began to be used as a way to keep a person's trousers from falling down in the 1920s. Before then, they were mainly worn as a decorative piece. In modern society, it's safe to say that they're now used as both a way to keep pants up and as an accessory. Overly large belt buckles are a fashion trend that should stay in the past. 16. Fanny Pack at the time when the fanny pack debuted in the 1980s, it was seen as a modern trend. The easily accessible fashion item was made out of synthetic material. It was created to be worn around a person's waist. By the 1990s, the fanny pack was appearing in popular fashion magazines like Vogue. Almost 40 years later, people can still be seen wearing these small packs. It seems that the trend has returned and the style might be here to stay. I had a Ninja Turtles one, but really the only time I ever wore it was to Disney as a kid. 15. Ed Hardy and Von Dutch Clothing Christian Odige, a French fashion designer, created both the Ed Hardy and Von Dutch clothing lines. The bedazzled tattoo-inspired shirts and pants seemed to have become popular almost overnight. During the early 2000s, a lot of celebrities wore Odige's brands which led normal people to want to be a part of a new trend. By 2009, the brand took in an estimated $700 million in gross revenue. Luckily, the exotic jeweled clothing has since faded in popularity. 14. Popped Collar Collared shirts seemed to defy gravity during the early 1980s. The popular fashion trend of putting the collar on your shirt straight up started an epidemic. What originally began in the U.S. spread to Europe and beyond. By the mid-1990s, men all over the world were wearing their shirts with a popped collar. Celebrities and soccer stars like Eric Cantona were also spotted sporting this trend. I've made a decision to, if I have it, I'm going to do it. So by the end of this entire video, I'm going to mix as many fashion trends as I possibly can with whatever's in my house. 13. Faux Hawks The faux hawk is exactly what it sounds like. The hairstyle is an imitation of the mohawk. In the early 1950s, some jazz musicians shaved the sides of their heads, leaving just a strip of hair down the middle. About 50 years later, people started to pick up that trend again, but doing so in a way that didn't require just a drastic change. Instead, the hairstyle was simply just shorter hair on the sides and significantly longer hair on the top. 12. Square Toe Shoes Sometime in the early 1940s, the ghastly, narrow, pointed toe shoe design started to emerge. Yet, the straight line shoe didn't become popular until around the 1990s. Since then, men have been wearing those types of shoes for various occasions. People have publicly criticized the shoe for looking overly dorky and unnatural. A great alternative to a square-toed shoe would be a more natural, rounded toe. 11. Man Prees 
Capri pants are trousers that reach down three quarters of the leg. Their odd length tends to confuse people because they're not long enough to be pants, but they're not short enough to be called shorts. Since they've been invented, women and children seem to be the only ones who can look good wearing them. However, European men seem to be all over this fashion trend. So much so that men in the US have been spotted wearing these odd length pants as well. 10. Tank Top Shirts without sleeves started being worn as an everyday clothing item during the 1970s. Before then, they were commonly used as an undergarment. During the 1980s, men could often be seen wearing their white tank top for almost any occasion. It's believed that they became a trend because the piece of clothing was relatively inexpensive and comfortable. 9. Calculator Watch The calculator watch is an accessory that proved jewelry can be both functional and trendy. It originally debuted in the 1970s, and some of the most popular brands were the Casio Databank series and Timex. Fortunately, people began to lose interest in the mathematical watch sometime during the early 1980s. Many people in today's society have compared the embarrassing watch trend to the Apple smartwatch. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if that device ends up being an embarrassing fashion trend. Now, we never had a calculator watch, but... Uh, my watch does have a calculator somewhere. There it is. Boom. Newfangled calculator watch. So, I've, I've now added to my ensemble. 8. Bell bottoms. During the 1960s, bell bottoms were an essential part of a wardrobe for both men and women. They were originally created as a functional design for people who worked on boats. However, the flared legs became a symbol of a younger, hip generation. The pants were so popular that people were spotted wearing them for the next 30 years. Today, these fabric flares at the bottom of a pair of pants can be seen as outdated. 7. Crocs in 2002, Scott Siemens, Lyndon Hansen, and George Bodecker came together to create a pair of shoes that would change the fashion industry forever. Crocs are a unique shoe, mostly made out of foam. Despite originally being created as a boating shoe, people have used them for all sorts of occasions. Millions of customers have raved about how comfortable and functional they are. However, they're also widely considered to be the ugliest shoes ever created. I have never owned a pair, nor do I plan on starting. 6. Saggy Pants Most of us are all too familiar with the saggy pants fashion trend. This odd fashion trend that leaves a man's underwear exposed peaked in popularity during the 1990s hip-hop scene. Years later, and it's still quite normal to see a man wearing an oversized pair of pants. Celebrities like Justin Bieber, Zac Efron, and Ross Lynch have been seen more recently wearing their pants a bit lower than normal. 5. Men's Ugg Boots When Ugg Boots start to appear, it was almost like spotting the first snowflake of winter. The American footwear company created its first boot in 1978. Since then, they've made an estimated $2 billion in revenue. The shoe is more popular among women. That could be why it's so odd to see a man wearing a pair. Women typically wear their pants tucked into their Uggs, since the shoe is quite bulky and resembles a space boot. 4. Mullets The Beastie Boys, an American hip-hop band, are credited for popularizing the infamous mullet hairstyle. For some reason, during the 1980s, the business in the front and party in the back hairdo was all the rage. Rock stars, businessmen, and even some women were getting the mullet cut. Thankfully, that fashion trend started to become the object of ridicule in the late 90s, and the hairstyle died out. Looking back at history now, it's almost shocking just how popular it was. 3. Birkenstock Shoes 
Johann Adam Birkenstock created the Birkenstock Athletic Sandal in 1774. They quickly became one of the most popular summer shoes among men and women for their flexibility and comfort. In today's market, they can retail for a whopping $100. The Birkenstocks are nicknamed the Dad Shoe because, despite how comfortable they are, they look clunky and dated. A great alternative to this summer sandal would be a lightweight sneaker or boat shoe. 2. Chin Strap No man should ever trim their beard in a thin line to follow their jawline. This style goes by two names, Chin Strap and Chin Strip. Not only does this beard look unnatural, but it also creates overly harsh lines that can give the impression of a double chin. If you're interested in facial hair but don't want a full beard, which I don't know why you wouldn't, it's great, try opting for a 5 o'clock shadow instead. Researchers have found that more women are attracted to men with stubble than they are to any other kind of facial hair. Aww. One, deep V-neck shirts. Traditional V-neck shirts have been around since the 1960s. They were most commonly used as a men's undershirt. Now they're being worn as an everyday piece of clothing. A nicely ironed V-neck is a staple to any man's wardrobe. It's those deep V-neck shirts that men should stay away from. The shirt's plunging neckline has been criticized for looking overly feminine. If you're interested in showing off a little chest, try unbuttoning a few top buttons from a dress shirt. Or, you know, this one, there. Alex, what a great style, this is great. So, what's the most embarrassing fashion trend you've ever been a part of? Or, which of these fashion trends do you wish would see a comeback? Let us know in the comments below, Puka Shells. Or, tweet your answer to us at List25. Puka Shells. Hashtag, bring back Puka Shells. Or whatever I said earlier. Hashtag Puka Shell Comeback. No, I don't like that. Bring back Puka Shells. Make America Puka Shell again. Napsa? <laughs> this has gone on long enough. I'm sorry. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.